we're about to find out how many eggs does an adult female trout have. What's going on everybody? This is Lubaka with Lubaka video. Obviously it has to be a female to have eggs and obviously it is December so trout fishing is closed most in every inland water in the state of Wisconsin. So this is a tributary trout from Lake Michigan which is perfectly open and perfectly legal. The fish was harvested to get the eggs so this is why we're gonna check that and also we're gonna prepare it in a couple of different ways probably smoked probably in the oven so stay tuned to find out. to fit everything in the talk to me talk to me do sega nema še nikoj sega če bo mi jedin den če bo se mi ne ne ko na praček ne iskam da iskam tvoje mnogo po široko od moj čovjek o da 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 je dva inča Какви два инча? Това е... Знаеш това голяма разлика има между на... Не, истина. Това е... Невероятно е това. Колко е да била? Виж, няма... Малък клюн има всъщност. Не знам. Да, да, да. Това трябва да е жит. Така. И така. Това е право е... Убийство. Но твоя каяк е невероятен. Нищо общо, нищо общо. И като бяхме там изобщо не си го погледна. Не, 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 аз не съм го видял, че так... Не съм предполагал, че е толкова добър. Не, не, не. И това и... и... Това и си го направил е... Very nice! Браво, браво наше. Ари аз ще пъркам, че и моите ма чакат. Да, да, ще е хладно. This is why we got this cooler. Just for cases like that. Thank you, Coleman. What's going on, everybody? This is Lubaka with Lubaka Video. Today we're gonna find out how many eggs does an adult trout have. Stay tuned, don't go anywhere. It's gonna be fun. Here we are. My favorite bait shop, River's Edge. That's the place in the area that has the certified scale. Let's see where Andy is at. Hey Andy, I'm taking my viewers for a moment here. We want to weigh a trout. You got the, the scale working? I'll bring it out here. Perfect. Always a good reason to stop by this bait shop. Great selection of minnows, different sizes all sorts of different kinds I'll show you the rosy reds on the other side they got some of the best customer service in the area these are the rosy reds perfect for trout fishing and I like promoting this place although it got me kicked off of Lake Link if you don't know what Lake Link is I'll post a video how they discover men with erectile dysfunction to treat them A sample of your Viagra, you still waiting for that fishing report? Jake, Jake, what happened to you? Do you use Lake Link? This is an excellent source to find men with erectile dysfunction so we can find the proper medication to help them. Thank you. <laughs> okay, this is the liquid nitrogen for the Lake Link uh, collection. Um, guys, so we can collect their semen, so we gotta fill it with liquid nitrogen so that it'll stay. 
so this fish obviously trout season is closed in the inlands except for Devil's Lake and Green Lake this is a Lake Michigan trout and uh, what I'm trying to find out today is how many eggs does a fish like that have it's easy to say it's a female because it doesn't have the hook jaw it's zeroed out and we have 12 pounds 0.41 uh, do you have the tape measure handy so we can throw it on the tape and then I'm gonna come back after I get the eggs out and we're gonna weigh out the eggs to find out what is the ratio between the weight of the trout and the eggs the fish was harvested for that purpose to get the eggs and to answer the age-old question what came first the trout or the egg so we'll set it right here flat no need to pinch the tail play around we got a fish that's 28 28 and a half inches and the girth would be let's just get the girth measure on this girl 20 inches around maybe 19 let's say 19 and a half 19 and a half inches of girth Andy, is it okay if I use your cleaning table? Sure. That's another great thing that these guys offer. So I'll go out there, I'll get the eggs, I'll come back to weigh the eggs to see what is the ratio between the 12 pound trout and its eggs. So here it is, the river's edge cleaning table. You can tell somebody's been cleaning what looks like to be saugers. And they didn't clean up very well after themselves. You got two regular spots to clean you got a brush you got a hose which obviously is winterized right now but it's a great area to to work with right at the boat launch you come out get your fish cleaned dump the stuff in the bucket and you're good to go no mess at home so what I got going is my trusty CUDA blade I have a spatula to collect the eggs and I have a ziploc bag where I'm gonna collect the eggs from the trout this way we're not gonna lose any of the information I'm gonna try to get as efficient as I can so that we get as close to the truth as possible let's get this guy out and again I'm not sponsored by River's Edge I just love their service this is this great fish that's gonna help us catch many more by dedicating her eggs. Let's take another gander at her before we cut her open. Amazing, amazing fish. Here we are. A knife, spatula and a ziploc bag to get as many eggs as possible from this dandy fish. Now, there are several ways to clean a fish. Obviously, to fillet the fish, you start behind the gill, run behind the, uh, run along the spine. But this way, the cavity might get exposed. So to get the eggs, the best way would be to open it up, get all the eggs you can, and then proceed with cleaning the fish. I'm gonna start by an incision in the anal area. And you can tell this fish has been feeding really well. Now, there's multiple ways to actually use eggs for fishing. Uh, if you use king salmon eggs, they're really the biggest ones you can get. So those are popular for usage as a single egg presentation once they're cured. When it's earlier in the season and you got the skin where the eggs are not detached then you can just clip pieces with scissors and use those directly on the hook take a look what's going on in here a lot of these eggs are already over the
So this is one of the egg sacs. These would be excellent for single egg presentation. Or once they're cured, you can put them in the egg sacs. Let's try to not lose anything. So this is one of the egg sacs. Let's grab the other. There's a lot of single eggs still running around. I'll try to salvage as many as possible. Now again, it's late in the season. This is December. So a lot of the spawning has already taken place. Except for rainbow trout and uh, steelhead. Steelhead will spawn in March and April. But because of the fact that these fish are spawning so late, the first ones to come in the river systems, those will be the king salmon. This is why they grow so fast, because those river systems don't have enough biomass to feed their offspring. They grow so huge in the four years they got of a lifespan, so that once they come back in the, in the river where they were hatched, they bring that biomass to die and begin the new cycle of love, life <laughs> well yeah cycle of love as well for their offspring so basically the the food chain begins anew their bodies start getting decomposed by the microorganisms then by the insect larvae the crayfish the little minnows scalpins now recently with the expansion of gobies in the Great Lakes system there's gobies in those rivers too and in turn the trout and the smote which is the hatchlings of the salmon and the trout they will actually be feeding on on those and this is how it goes up the food chain so this trout was almost 12 and a half pounds and uh, by my guess this is about two pounds at least of fish eggs we'll find out exactly when I get back up in the shop I will use the spatula so I can scoop without any losses as many of these eggs as possible and then different recipes call for different brines to cure eggs there's a lot of commercially produced ones there's this fire brine a lot of these eggs are infertile as you can probably see the ones that look like lentils those would have never done anything to begin with but then the clear ones those are good to use and those will end up in the spawn sacks which is the some of the best presentation you can have okay i'll try to scoop out as much as possible from this fish there's a big scoop in the front of the cavity and then you have the, you have the liver and you have the gut so this is gonna get taken out it's gonna go in the bucket when you catch a trout and you want to field dress it right away what you want to do is make this incision right here come on okay and when you have this cut meat works excellent on smaller fish but it'll work on the big one too you can basically split the whole come on I would be really impressed if this video doesn't get demonetized by YouTube. They've gone through such pansy asses that it's ridiculous. So on a smaller trout, this would have been a done deal by now. What you have happening is you're taking the chest plate of the fish basically with all the guts usually comes out in one swift pool okay 
and then all of this goes down the hatch now the cavity is completely emptied out I will move the fish away so it's not in my way while I'm getting those eggs so we can get a, as accurate of a estimate as possible so collect all the eggs in a big old bloody mess <laughs> I bet some of this blood is probably mine too from the gill rakers okay scoop it all up in the bag you go and then we run back to the bait shop to find out how much this bag of fish eggs weighs okay so I'm back at the shop I'm gonna bother Andy once again this is River's Edge Resort and Bait Shop and let's see what we got going on they got my guess will be two pounds of eggs I might be off so there's the bag zeroed out and oh I was off it's uh, 281 and with everything I wasted probably closer to three pounds I'm gonna throw the fish after it's being gutted on just to, to get an idea of how much goes to waste so the fish is all cleaned up ready for the smoker okay. this is getting zeroed out the fish is 8.58 almost eight and a half pounds so that's like four pounds so just one pound of guts three pounds of eggs I'd say it's a good deal that's a good one trout are probably one of the more efficient fish but remember when we had that devil's lake trout that we put in the aquarium it kept eating oh, minerals yeah. <laughs> yeah if you if you plan to keep a trout as a pet you're gonna be uh, his joy because you gotta keep buying minerals from him left and right because they don't stop eating plus you have to have special permits so don't do it is what I'm saying so these I'm just gonna simple salt them I'm gonna put them in the fridge and then we're gonna do spawn sacks oh, okay. that was the whole purpose to get the eggs sure. and uh, to answer the age-old question what comes first the fish or the okay. eggs you know somebody has to have caught a fish like he did on a wax worm and a jig and then you get the eggs and you got the perfect bait you can do single eggs but for that obviously you have to have a very small hook sure. So for single eggs, probably king salmon eggs would be better because they're like about three times that volume. And uh, otherwise you can do skin when it's earlier, when they're not detached, when they're not single, you can just cut with the scissors and then put them on a the hook. I got a bunch of videos on how that's done, but this is the purpose for those. Yes. And otherwise when they're uh, like when they're earlier, when they just get detached, because these are already uh, getting to be overripe that fish actually if it didn't uh, if it didn't get to spawn they get clogged sure. so some of them actually do die uh, I'm not saying that we saved the fish or anything right, like that right, but right. but uh, trout unlike salmon they will come back many seasons after so salmon do come and die again what I explained earlier in my video was that uh, in those streams there's not enough biomass that's why they grow so fast in four years when they come they die this creates the start of the new food chain this way there's everything for the insects for the little minnows and then for the bigger fish and then respectively for the salmon but these guys do come back year after year and the uh, rainbows and the uh, steelhead they will spawn in april so i guess we're gonna have eggs ready for that there you go. andy do you have any anything to say anything going on specials what do you got for specials for the winter time not really right now to be honest with you are you um, pretty booked right now yeah, obviously it's, years, it's yeah, the new years, years and christmas right. it's always booked okay all right, all right.
And do you have that seasonal pass still that people can buy? Yeah, for the bowl launch, yeah, 80 bucks. 80 bucks, 80 bucks for the for season, year. okay. Other than that, uh, the resort, they still have the specials uh, when, when you come, you get like a... The T-bone dinner, yeah, they do that in the spring. Uh, usually till end, middle, or I'm sorry, till end of April, I believe it is. The T-bone dinners, bowl launch, room stay. Excellent. Again, this is like one of the friendliest places you'll find and you get to develop friendships with these guys, so Absolutely. it's always good to stop in. Thanks, Andy. No problem, All right, so I have my assistants. What are your names, girls? My name is Vesla. And my name is Milena. Okay. And we're going to answer the age-old question, what is first, the fish or the eggs? Yeah. We want to figure out how many eggs are in this bag. We know the total weight, so we're going to weigh on this precise electronic scale a little bit of weight, and then we're going to count how many eggs in that. Okay? Sound like a plan? Okay. 